Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a video, a little bit vlog style as you can see, but about making a ruffle wrap skirt. I am really bad at sewing. Take a sip, you gon' trip. I'm like a cup of shroom tea in the morning. Cut your throat like hot. myself to get the <laughs> relative shape and you know we're working with something I have no idea how this is going to turn out but uh, here we go I'm wearing a tablecloth okay so I just pinned the outside to where I would want it to end and then you can't really tell but I pinned the inside to where it would stop so I can see where I need to make like my wrap ribbons end and the end so I didn't think I would have enough, but from where the inside one is ending and to have it wrap around, I think that that is enough fabric to make a bow. I didn't think it would be because then for the outside piece, my other piece of fabric is going to be dangling down from here. And so I actually think that this might work. Don't quote me because I don't think it will, <laughs> but it might. So I'm just going to cut this into two strips and have enough for seam allowance and then we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> okay, so that took me way too long, but basically I have these two strips now that I'm gonna use for my wrap and I just used fabric glue to hem them basically and then I safety pinned them onto each end of my skirt. Okay, this is what I have so far, so I'm just gonna hem this top and as you can see, I pinned down the little straps and then I pinned down where my hem is gonna be and I'm just gonna glue it and then afterwards I'm gonna round these edges so it's a little less apron -y, but uh, no promises. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the tie. Um, again, can we tell that I'm not a professional and that I definitely look like I'm wearing an apron? But my plan is to hem the top of the skirt and maybe put some elastic in it to make it a little bit more fitted and then trim off the excess of this thing and then I think I'm going to round these edges right here so just instead of having them like a sharp right angle I'm just going to round them and I will come back after I have done all that but so far this is looking like a no sew project um, if you can't tell hopefully it'll become a little bit more flattering but you know only direction we can go is up <laughs> Okay, so a literal eternity later, um, then we have an apron. <laughs> Dude, this did not... I should watch more tutorials before I embark on adventures. So, let this be a cautious tale to let you know that even if you think you can do something, maybe you, you just can't. And maybe when you try and do something, it turns into an apron. And that's okay. So I think I will keep this, but I think this will definitely just be used in the kitchen. Alright, so the apron thing didn't work out, so now we're doing a shirt. <laughs> and I basically combined two skirts, um, hemmed, and added a zipper. So, laying flat, it looks like this, and I did it with fabric glue. And I'm going to add some buttons, which is why there's pins right here to mark where I want my butt ends. And then I'm gonna try and learn how to hand sew some darts to make it fit. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the same lace trim for the straps I was using on my apron. <laughs> my wrap skirt turned apron yesterday. So this is the final product. I have no idea if this is gonna look good. I honestly don't think it will, but I had a lot of fun making it. I mean, you can just see how uneven it is. I used a cami that I had and traced that to kind of make the shape that it is now. But I didn't sew this at all. It is all glue. Once it's dry, we'll see. I do not think this is going to look good. 
this is the first thing I've like made 100% by myself and I can't believe I did it. I decided to change the straps from the lace to the straps that I had from my wrap shirt and I just attached them on either side like this and like this and tied them in little bows for the shoulders but that is that. I'm actually pretty happy with how this went.